Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to roast butternut squash. Now this is a lovely butternut squash. It has a nice pear shape and that kind of creamy color on the outside, beige. Uh, you'll have these in abundance in the fall and they're really nice hearty squash, bright orange on the inside. First thing I do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Fahrenheit and I've washed this with soap and water and it's nice and dry. I'm just going to cut this little knob off the top, makes things easier to slice down the center. Now that's what I'm going to do, slice it right down the center. Half of this squash is going to be for our dinner tonight as side dish and the rest of it I'm going to use tomorrow for baking. We're going to bake some beautiful butternut squash and tiger nut rolls um, geared towards the holidays and I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. But in the meantime, look at this gorgeous squash. The inside bright, bright orange. It smells so good. And we're just going to take, just like a pumpkin, you're gonna take a bowl and a spoon and scrape out the insides of this little bottom part. Now save these seeds. You can either eat them as a snack, toast them up, roast them in the oven, or you can save the seeds to plant next year. And these ones are actually going to be saved for next year for nice, fresh stock for our butternut squash vines. However, I do have some shows for you how to toast curried butternut squash seeds and just how to toast butternut squash seeds. So check out those shows as well. Next, grab yourself a roasting dish or you can use like a baking sheet or a cookie sheet if you want to. I'm just going to spray this to keep things from sticking a little bit into the roasting pan alternately so it can fit properly. And I'm just going to slather them with some olive oil. Use your hands. They're your best tool get them all coated. You can leave the skin on. I'm just going to scrape the flesh out of the uh, skin anyway for tomorrow's uh, baking. And tonight I'm just going to slice this in half. One half goes to me and one half goes to mom. And when you eat it, you can just go ahead and scrape it out of there as you're eating. As you roast up vegetables, um, they get sweeter and they caramelize. You're going to get some nice little brown bits on the top and that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just going to basically season it with some salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of cayenne. Um, you don't have to use pepper if you are going to use, use it for baking tomorrow, but it's okay. I think it'll be nice in our buns nonetheless. You want to get a little flavor in there. Salt and just a sprinkle of cayenne. Just for a little hit of spice. Into the oven this is going to go until it's knife tender. Uh, that's probably going to take about an hour I would say on 350 degrees. You can use your convection if you like but I don't think it's necessary. Into the oven we go. Cow lovely. All right so let's check this out. I checked it after about an hour and it wasn't quite there yet but about an hour and a half and here we are. Make sure you do a knife tenderness test. Put your sharp knife in there and see if it goes all the way through easily. And if it does, then you're done. Um, again, you can use this as a side dish, serve it with butter, um, you know, cut them into portions. You can use it for baking if you want to. Uh, I've also made gnocchi with uh, roasted squashes and it's wonderful. So there's a lot of things you can do, even stuff ravioli with them. Wonderful. So I'm going to take just a quick little bit here just to show you how it just comes right out, so soft, so tender, delightful. Now if you wanted to sprinkle brown sugar on it or drizzle some maple syrup on it, that's a lovely addition. Put a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg even. Mm. I like it just like that. Mm. Simple. It's really sweetened things up. Absolutely delicious. And that's uh, that simple. Okay, it's like a set it and forget it kind of thing, and you can serve it just like that. I love it. Anyway, that's how you roast butternut squash. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E, like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and you can check out my website at CookingWithKimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen, and eat deliciously. Bye. Mm-hmm.